feel painted into a corner. Hi, I'm Brian Pombo. Welcome back to Brian J. Pombo Live. Today, I wanted to bring up the third tier of what we consider the three tiers of brianjpombo.com. And just for review, uh, what we've been talking up until now is being relationship reliant and system based. The third one is is being um, reality grounded and oftentimes we find ourselves painted into a corner because we set ourselves up that way to expect a certain result and if you do that if you get caught up with your goals or get caught up with where you think things are going you don't allow flexibility to be able to move forward I'll give you an example uh, th this was this was a situation with one of my clients where we had discussed what the possibilities were going forward in the future and when we had a meeting it became clear that as as everything started being laid out that we were going to have to change slightly and go a slightly different direction it wasn't a big move in fact it was the original move that was planned that we had moved back to, or at least that was my suggestion, is that we move back to this original plan. Now, it would have been real easy to say, well, wait, why are we doing that? I thought we were going in this direction, now we're going in this direction, and there was some confusion there. After, after we sat back and looked at it, though, I said, uh, if you look at the big picture of things, we made the necessary changes, but that also made the original plan more more of the the thing that we ought to do it made sense at least from from my limited perspective it made sense and that's what i was recommending it's real easy to get caught up with going in a particular direction and not wanting to pivot but that flexibility how do you build that flexibility one's experience is going through enough situations to where you know you have to be flexible or you'll break uh, but the, the main thing that I see that keeps people from being flexible in business is being too emotional. Getting emotionally invested in a particular outcome. And that is being anti-reality. If you are getting caught up with doing things a certain way, you are, and you, then it's, it's an emotional um, comfort zone that we paint ourselves into. It's painting ourselves into a corner and you don't quite know your way out of it. You, you, how, do you get away, how do you get away from that? How do you get back to reality? It's about stepping back away from your emotional state. It's noticing that you're in it, noticing that you're reacting to something and just stepping back and taking, taking a deep breath and saying, okay, what's the reality of the situation? What are we actually looking at what am I reacting to? And when you do that, you take that little brief moment to step back and take a look at the big picture, everything tends to clear up. Sometimes it means getting up and taking a walk. <laughs> Sometimes it means, you know, getting a little bit of movement going and getting the blood flowing to your brain. But it all comes back on the inside to step away from your emotions and come back to reality. That's why I talk about being reality grounded. That is, the, that is really the long-term concept that you want in your business, reality grounding. And then even if you aren't in the reality state, if, you're, if you fall into an emotional uh, craziness, you want to make sure that the people that are around you can kind of hold you back and go, whoa, 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 just wait, take a deep breath. And if you've got people like that around you, then you'll be able to do the same thing when they're in that state and we can all balance each other out. It's very, very helpful to have people on your team like that. If you'd like to know whether you are paying uh, the most attention to reality or not, then I suggest bringing people on your team that help you out with that. I'm one of those people that you can actually hire out to be able to work with you on a weekly basis. Go to brianjpombo.com and you can look at some of the options that I have available for that. Also, if you are in the self-reliance field, meaning you've got products and services that help people to become more self-reliant, go to dreambizchat.com. Dreambizchat.com. The link is in the description if you want to go there directly. Hey, 
We're back here every day with another tip, another concept, either on a real large scale or on something very specific, sometimes just a simple little tactic that might make a difference for you. Come back here every day. We'll go through another one. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below on whatever social media you're at, or you can always find all the archives of all of these videos and audios over at brianjpombo.com. Hey, you have a great night. Get out there and let the magic happen.